Okay, welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. We're in a little bit of a hurry. I've already checked hover and everything. I want to fly on this ship. And I was having a little bit of drone problems here with the Spark. Uh, but I think we've got it figured out now. And this is the Federal, I believe. And... We're going to set a bit of an intercept course for her as she comes down up about a hundred and some feet. Yeah, for some reason I just uh, I couldn't get video feed on this as I was, um, was starting it up. I had to restart it several times to get the video feed to work and uh, that was rather odd. Sometimes it gets that way. And we're just watching the Federal come on down. She's some sort of ore freighter. Don't know too much about this one. I'll have to look it up. But man, oh man, beautiful views. I'm just going to kind of hold tight and do a little yaw with it. I'm going to gimbal her down so I can get some video. And just wow. The Federal, I think it's the Federal A-S-A-H-I, Ashia, Federal Ashia. That uh, might be the ship line. Uh, just trying to see if I can see what it's badged as. I think it must be a Canadian, Canadian flagged freighter. And I'm going to follow it down a little bit more down this way and try to track it into the bridge a little bit more because I'm only at about 500 feet or so and we're chasing it out there and just beautiful views so just plying the water she's running empty because you can tell how high she's sitting And we're just kind of still taking it out there about 600 feet or so. Again, I don't want to get too far down because I don't want to get by that Coast Guard base. So that jetty down there is about the start of the Coast Guard base, so I want to stay back this way a little bit of it, be respectful, and uh, sort of flying on it. So. Uh, with the, but you know the one thing with this filter again I'm noticing that I'm getting sporadic uh, sporadic um, warnings and I think it's it's in a reflection off that uh, polarizing lens in the camera and so let's uh, gimbal it back around and just really beautiful views as it's come as the ship is going down. And still a beautiful day here on the lake. And just kind of watching it ply the waves. And still a number of fishing boats out on the lake today too. Kind of surprising. And uh, just it's uh, lumbering its way down there. Looks like we got another ship maybe coming down here. I think this is the Mississauga coming down. Maybe we'll get a chance if I got time to fly on it. So it's out there. We're up about 122 feet, which is uh, good. We're out there about 617 feet. Just kind of hanging really nice and still. So getting sporadic warning messages of something in front of the uh, copter. So, but uh, really good battery life. I'm at about 57%, so I'm hanging tight there. Again, knock on wood, no, uh, no magnetic interference issues. So that's a good thing. So we kind of watch this ship just kind of, but the, uh, the sporadic uh, avoidance message is kind of uh, interesting. 
I really didn't see that when I test flew it yesterday. But uh, you can hear the waves coming in from that guy passing. They displace a lot of water. And uh, just kind of moseying on down there. Taking sort of the wide path out around the uh, lake. Or I call it lake. It's actually the river. But for some reason they call it entering the lake or exiting the lake. I don't know. Something like that. Ship talk, I guess. But um, anyways. Just... Uh, love the at least on the on the phone here the uh, the sun the way it's hitting the water is just beautiful you know flying out here is just great and especially this time of year so uh, just a great time to come out and fly the weather's not too cold yet it's cold enough to keep people away where I can fly in this beautiful beach and you know not be bothered by sunbathers you know because in the summertime this is just you know packed with people but you know, all these months it just basically goes empty, so it's great flying time, so really enjoy it out here. And uh, she's going down lake, she's just kind of playing the waters down. So just kind of watching it. So uh, you can kind of see it turning off in the distance. Probably yaw this around a little bit. You see the paper plant down there, the Coast Guard. Um, the water tower down there is for the paper plant. I think that's, I don't know if, the, I don't know if it's been sold, I think that's done paper. Uh, so if you have done paper, that's where it comes from. So, again, there's a railway, rail, railway spur, I'll say that, that comes up there uh, for it. So anyways, well, she's down there, so I'll tell you what, I'm going to issue a return to home, bring this guy back. I'm going to go lazy man's way and just kind of slide it. Aircraft returning to home. I'm up about 120 feet. Look at that sand. That's just beautiful. There's trees, the color. You know, Michigan this time of year is just a great time of year. You know, basically the August gets a little bit too uncomfortable, and, you know, so does February. But, yeah, the months in between, those so they aren't too bad here, so... Again, we're kind of bringing it back. I can hear it buzzing above me. And she should be coming down any second now. I'm going to get out of the way. I was standing where it took off. So, uh, I don't think I've seen precision landing kick in yet. And it's turning itself around out there. So we're getting another some more scenery of the beautiful water, the buoys, and all that. So, we're bringing it on down. And just uh, going to set it down. Again, just checking the beach, making sure everything is clear. And <clears throat> finally hit low battery warning. I'm going to save out the video. I think I saved it out. I'm going to let it land. And boom, we're on the ground. Another great flight out here. You know, the thing is, I was trying to think the other day. I don't know if there's a mechanism in here that tracks all the flights of this thing. I tell you what, I've got to have easily well over 100 flights of this Spark. Easily. Um, between what I've recorded and what I haven't recorded. So, I tell you what, this has been my happiest copter yet uh, that I've had. You know, I tell you what, I can't complain. So... Anyways, hey, give the spark a thumbs up if you won't give me a thumbs up. Don't hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you're thinking about for lunch. We did bologna today with pepper jack cheese and a little horseradish. There's a tip for you guys. If you have a bologna sandwich, spice it up with a little horseradish spread. Spread, spread, spread it. Oh, geez. Um, sound like I'm from New Jersey or something. Spread, uh, spread. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.